Alright guys, it's Wednesday the 9th. I'm gonna start saying dates because these vlogs don't go up for like a week or two after I film them just because I'm so far behind. Like it's not that I'm trying to be lazy here, it's crunch time and haunt comes before vlog. Um, so it's Wednesday the 9th, it's sometime probably around noon or a little thereafter, probably like 1220 or something. I came home early from school because I had an hour and a half psychology test and then an hour and a half religions test. So I'm like, you know what, screw it, I'm coming home and working on the haunt after that, because that was hell. Uh, but now, fun haunt joy time! Um, so, you guys might remember the uh, shelf frames here that I did. I got it, one built into a panel, just the same way I would with a panel, just with an extra 2x3 on the side, and then screwed in a piece of uh, OSB. Also, before then, I cut the bottom off of this, just used a reciprocating saw. You can see I chopped here and at the bottom and just chopped it in place. It, again, it's going to be unscrewed and moved, but I figured it would be best to chop it while it's in place. Um, now, in retrospect, I probably should have waited till I moved it because now I'm going to have to move it with this wiggly arm, but eh, whatever. So, yep, that is it for now, guys. Uh, but good progress being made. Alright guys, so there's the butcher facade finally in its final resting place for this year, um, which is awesome. Got this shelf panel here, right on that side, and then a two foot shelf panel here. Also you can see I had this scrap laying around so I figured that would be a good place to put it. And then just a little scrap I had left over from when I did the taxidermy room with the trim. I thought the trim would look nice. And I'll paint all that and I still got to fill in that gap, but other than that it's looking good. Um, so this is just going to be a four foot square room. There will be an actor door here to come in and then they'll exit through that way. So, yep, that is it for now guys, I think. So, I will show you more as more happens. Alright, Alright guys, so this scene's getting pretty close to done. I do have to fill in wood along this side out to where the shelves go. Um, but other than that, it's getting pretty filled in. Um, I'm not going to have shelves here. I'm going to have this painted black and then I'll hang either the menu or the 32 cent finger sign. So you can see menu, 32 cent finger sign. Um, one of those two in that spot. Also, you see I didn't fill in here. What I'm gonna do in this scene, a lot of the walls are gonna be painted black, including these walls, and so I'm gonna hang a black sheet behind there with flaps, and an actor will be able to lunge out. I'll have a shelf here, but nothing on it, and I won't do a shelf here, so there will just be a big empty hole for the actor to lunge through, and there will be a shelf on top with tons of stuff, shelves below with tons of stuff, and then also shelves over here with tons of stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna put in a door here, a white door, and then it'll say either, I'm, either, I'm debating between killing beds and um, and something like employees only or restricted area or something like that. So, yeah, that is it for now, guys. But making good, good progress. And this is now like a freestanding structure, but it's got all four sides on it. So it's really sturdy. It started off super wobbly, but now it's, it's pretty sturdy and it'll be screwed in even more. So it'll be even sturdier than this, but okay. I've rambled enough. You see it. You get the idea. Guys, progress is happening. Um, got this door here. It's gonna be blocked so it doesn't swing in here. I'll put something up at the top, but for now I'm gonna leave it so it can swing in here so I can do like painting in the other scene. But it'll be a door that you push through. We've got the arch here. I was gonna do the arch in the basement, but I have a panel of just the fake wood paneling that I'm gonna put up from here across, so that'll be effective there. And I'll just have this in the kiln chamber. Um, over here, I'll have a little actor doorway there. So someone could get a scare if they wanted to. And then I started working on the other side of Hell's Gauntlet here. Um, for those of you new viewers, Hell's Gauntlet is what I'm naming this. As you can see, there's two windows on either side. There will be an actor with a circular saw, of course, with the blade removed, um, on either side, lunging out of those two holes. So that's going to be awesome. Um, also, you're getting a better view for the actor area, which is huge this year. I cut back on the size of the slaughterhouse. I haven't said that 10,000 times already, um, just because of time and budget, um, but it's still going to be amazing, and it's going to have that much more the props in that area, um, but that left a huge actor area in the middle. Um, this will be good for storage and just for getting actors from point A to point B really quickly and really effectively. And there will be a doorway here for this actor with this saw to come out and chase them out. There will be a doorway here for this one to lunge through because this one's going to be um, one that gets a, a 
one, a skill saw with a power cord. This one's going to be uh, cordless. And then there will be an actor here with a chainsaw that will come out because um, the chainsaw has to stay outside because of the fumes. But it's going to be an amazing finale area. And of course everything has to be painted in here except the arch and I guess the white side of the door. I'll keep white because that's really creepy looking. But yeah, that's it for now guys. Still getting a tongue done. Still going to keep working. So. All right guys, so even more progress. I got this up here, this little wall in here in the basement, and then this panel here. Um, I need to build a doorway that's like somewhat cuts into that space because that's a really wide doorway, at least for us here. Um, I know it's probably like three feet, which is standard width, but that's really wide for us here. Um, this, how this is going to work is this is all going to be painted black. This side, I'm going to do what looks like a wall of the slaughterhouse, so it looks bigger than just that big. I, I think, because I have a bunch of signs I need to put up and I want to put one of them here, so I'm going to do that. Um, so, what else is there to say? So this is going to be painted black, so it seems like there's nothing there. And I'm going to hang black sheet. I'm going to hang a black sheet here for an actor to pop out through. And just with the way I'm going to light it, I'm going to draw all the attention over here so it'll look like there's nothing there and the actor will pop out and it'll get a good scare. And then I'm going to put like a railing from here out to like two feet on both sides so that'll be good so it kind of ushers people into the, the slaughterhouse. Alright guys, so last clip of the day. This is the exit from the basement. I got this door put in. Um, the frame was like four inches further that way but I just dragged these in a little bit um, to put the door in and that looks really good looks nice from the inside too um, and I'll put something along that top strip too but that'll be really nice and then boom it'll open up and there's the butcher so yeah that's it for tonight guys um, framing is getting really close to done like from the start of today to where I am now I did more than half of the framing that was left I may need to go get a few more sheets of OSB from Home Depot because I'm down to just one but let me show you what framing is left to do because it's very little. I have to fill in this space here, put a four foot panel along there, finish that ramp, put in a two foot piece right here and I'm probably just going to use this gut table and then just put a one foot strip across the top. Um, build a little ramp just to hump over this little thing. Fill in here, do that top strip, build this wall here, and then just build the exit wall right along there. And that's pretty much about all the framing that's left to do. And then, I mean, there's going to be a lot of paint, but that'll ha all happen within the next week or so. So, very exciting stuff. A lot getting done today, or that got done today, I guess. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think of all this. So, that's it for today, guys.